Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall solve the model question paper of GPSTR exam 2022 given by the education department of um, math and science subject. Okay. So before moving to the video, I would like to thank all my subscribers for your support. Thank you. And if you're watching this video for the first time, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to GPSTR exams and um, about nature, all the videos we upload here. And at the end of the video, after watching, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up like, okay? And saying this, we'll move to the topic now. Come, let's learn. So here, this question paper is consists of maximum marks 150 and time is 3 hours. Duration is given from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It will be usually. And this is paper 2 of GPSTR exam, Maths and Science. In paper 1, if you choose Kannada as the medium of language in which we write the answer, so in paper 2 also you have to choose Kannada only. This is the medium of the question paper. Okay. So suppose if you choose paper 1 as English medium, paper 2 also you have to mention as English medium only. Okay. Of course paper 3 will be compulsory Kannada. That will be for compulsory for all the aspirants except major Kannada and major English students and exemptions are there for a few other languages like Urdu, Tamil and um, if they have taken uh, Telugu, Marathi, those, okay. Come, let's move into the concept now. Question numbers from 1 to 50 carries 1 marks each question. This is of multiple choice. 4 answers will be given. We have to choose the right answer among this. Be careful while writing the answer with the proper question numbers question main number and sub number also we have to mention question number two and sub number and so okay first question the principle on which optic fiber works is it's based on total internal reflection of light total internal reflection of light this question also may be asked optical fiber both are same so if you have observed the electrical cable wire we have usually we see that outer part only that is of black in color but inside that if you cut it and see there is a thin wire okay so that is the what they call it as optical wire it seems I, I had the curiosity so I cut that wire and I saw there is thin wire thin as that of your hair okay so there as the energy travels light energy travels the signal video signal as they travel it travels almost like this without the loss of energy zigzag path they travel and the energy loss is very 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 less here almost 100% or 99.999% of the energy is total internally reflected okay next question okay on moving to question number two a body weighing 30 kg goes up a staircase 8 meter high and 32 seconds the power of the boy's dash so actually this should be boy okay not body boy weighing 30 kg he goes up a staircase of 8 meter height and 32 seconds and gravity value is also given we have to calculate the power we know the formula for power that is p is equal to w by t work done by time taken this work done when an object is taken to some particular height that is nothing but the stored potential energy so we can express by the formula w is equal to mgh mass into gravity into height divided by time taken and it's clearly given with the si units okay before substituting we have to check out whether the given data are in proper si units only if not in si units please substitute um, or convert the set that into proper si units and then substitute it will be easy for the calculation okay um, so mass is 30 kg 30 kg 
and gravity is 9.8 meter per second square substituted and height is 38 uh, meter divided by time is 32 seconds 32 seconds all are in SI units so no problem after substituting we have to solve it multiply all this divide by 32 or you can just uh, solve 8 ones and like this you can just solve the solution I have not written here on solving this we will get 73.5 watt okay sometime gravity value if not given you can either substitute 9.8 meter per second square or you can also substitute 10 meter per second square also if not given if it is given the same value we have to substitute so on solving this we get 73.5 watt next on moving to the third question an electric refrigerator rated 400 watt operates 8 hours a day means 8 hours per day also the cost of the energy consumed at the rate of rupees 3 per kilowatt hour in 15 days is dash so we have to calculate the energy consumed for 15 days as per the cost of 3 rupees per kilowatt hour ok direct question only so we know the formula to calculate the electrical energy in terms if it is power is given E is equal to P into T power into time taken so substitute this value of power 400 watt again in any numerical in physics you have to check out whether the given data are in SI unit only if it is in SI unit do the substitution it will be easy for the calculation otherwise converting at the last will be a problem so your power is given in 400 watt it is an SI unit into 8 hours um, uh, here only here we have little bit of changes since we have to deal with kilowatt hour so keep this hard even though SI unit of uh, time is uh, seconds don't convert this into seconds because this expected answer should be calculated in, in this chapter it is like this because we have to do with the calculation power um, power is for kilowatt hour that's why okay so substitute for 8 hour multiply this and also we have to convert this in kilowatt hour with, from the given answer you have to divide by 1000 you will get this answer in kilowatt hour okay because we have to substitute for this in electrical energy cases all the problems are like this so this line is extra additionally I have added here that is the value of 1 kilowatt hour is 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joule suppose if your answer has to be converted from kilowatt hour to joule if, if necessary I have shown here E is equal to 1.152 into 10 to the power of 7 joule so this place in kilowatt hour you have to substitute this value you will get here so for this uh, multiple choice question this is not necessary but we have shown extra check it out next step after finding this E that is the energy per day ok so um, for 3.2 kilowatt hour and what is the cost of that 3 rupees the cost multiply with 3 rupees so you will get 9.6 rupees uh, of the ener electrical energy per day for fi 15 days multiply with the answer with 59.6 into 15 gives us 144 rupees is the electrical energy co cost you have to pay this next the fourth question circuit diagram is not clear this is regarding the resistor only so in the following classes we will try to solve the series and parallel connection of resistors combination so here without knowing the proper data we are unable to solve this ok so we are moving to the next question the dimensional formula for pressure is dash so here dimensional formula m l t what is m stands for it is for mass l stands for length t stands for time ok so i'll try to take one class based on this dimensional formula in the following classes you can expect that so here we have to calculate for pressure so what is the formula for pressure pressure is equal to force by area and this SI units now let us write SI unit of force is Newton and for area it is meter square ok so again Newton can be converted as kg meter per second square that is the value of 1 Newton divided by m square remains as it is 
now take this m square to the numerator it becomes m to the power of minus 2 um, so minus 2 plus 1 gives us minus 1 only on solving this we get kg per meter per second square now we have to check out what is the power of the mass given here it is given as nothing is given it means it is understood that it is 1 power is 1 so m to the power of 1 here m to the power of minus 1 actually even though this is given as m this is the length okay in meters so length is l to the power of 1 for seconds to the power of minus 2 that is t time to the power of minus 2 so fourth answer this is the right answer for that let's move to the next question moderator in nuclear reactor is used to so there are four options given to reduce the temperature in the reactor removes the heat from the nuclear reactor stops fission reaction reduce the speed of the neutron actually the answer is moderator is used to reduce the speed of the neutron in the nuclear reactor usually water or graphite is used as moderators here let's also check along with that uh, reduce the temperature of the reactor which reduces usually the coolant water is used as the coolant that is borated water also used to reduce the temperature in the reactor and removes the heat from the nuclear reactor both are same no so nothing but coolant again water is the coolant and to stop the fission reaction usually controlled rods of boron and cadmium they are used to stop the fission reaction it means they will observe the fast moving um, uh, neutrons and they will uh, shut down the reaction so uh, stop the fusion react fission reaction sorry okay so the right answer is fourth one to reduce the speed of the neutrons moderators are used next one in humans the range of audible sound is dash so there are many options given third answer is the right answer that is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz okay hertz he -E r t z hertz okay so here 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz is the audible sound this is also called a sonic sounds suppose if it is less than 20 hertz it is not audible to us and if it is greater than uh, 20 hertz it is also not audible to us don't get confused with loudness okay loudness is difference from uh, different from uh, this frequency range okay so mm, the sound or the sound range below 20 hertz is called as intrasonic sounds the sound range from 20,000 hertz above 20,000 hertz are called as ultrasonic sound the audible range is this one 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz next the formula to find the number of images formed by two adjacent plane mirror so immediately when we look at this we will come to know that something is real with 360 degree so here if it is of 2 okay even it is of 360 degree 360 divided by theta minus 1 okay for even it is 360 theta by minus 1 it is given just sometimes it is mentioned as 360 divided by theta only okay next the device used to obtain electronic oscillations of desired frequency is nothing but oscillator okay easy question and let's also meanwhile check out the other answers and their functions also if it is a transistor what is the function of transistor usually transistors are used in digital electronic circuits okay uh, so as switches on and off switches next rectifier rectifier mainly converts ac into dc that is alternating current into direct current and radio you know the radio it works on radio signals and it is on based on signal technology that is used for communication purpose and uh, next question is gas with the highest calorific value is so here you know immediately we can answer that hydrogen is well having highest calorific value that is means amount of heat energy present in that uh, if it is considered as food 
may be that energy here it is of heat energy high calorific value hydrogen has a high calorific value next one the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid h2so4 so to calculate the molecular mass we have to check out for each individual hydrogen separately sulfur and for oxygen we have to check out the value you know the values of this hydrogen is about 1 okay One, accurate value 1.008 and yet 2 h2 is given so multiply with 2 and for s yes, it is given we know the value um 32.06 okay and for oxygen it is 16 so multiply with here o4 is given so multiply with 4 so on this adding all this we will get the answer as 98.08 g per mole so that is the relative molecular mass next molecular formula of vinegar it is c second answer ch3 cooh this is for vinegar let us also check out the other answers what it is hcooh this is formic acid formula and c2h5 cooh that is propionic acid c17h35 cooh this is stearic acid okay so the remaining questions we will discuss in the next following videos so till then keep practicing the practice model question papers of previous years question papers all those let us uh, combine all the sub uh, subject and we'll solve it okay let's not solve separately we'll try to solve together even the descriptive type also we'll try to solve okay thank you for watching this video if you like this please give a thumbs up okay thank you for your valuable feedbacks <laughs>